Hello, once again, welcome to Agiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to program step by step from scratch in general IT tricks and techniques. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use absolute cell reference in Excel. So I have some figures over here. I have some cells from the month of January to the month of December, and I have my total over here. So what I want to do is I want to calculate the percentage respective to every month. Okay, I want a percentage in reference to the total, the total number of sales. So I want to see January, the percentage based on my total sales. So let's say over here, I want to calculate that percentage. So what I want to do is to say equal to, remember you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime I upload a new content. So to calculate the percentage, I'll use the equal to sign and then select my first cell. That's the sales for January. So I click on January divided by my total sales, which is 1726. So all this is in dollars. So take note of that. So my figures, I'm assume, assuming these figures are in dollars. So what is going to happen is that if I want to calculate the percentage, I could go ahead and say, all this so let me say i can put this into bracket times 100 percent when i hit and when i hit the enter key you see approximately i'm going to get around 12 percent okay so if i go ahead and then drag this in order to get percentage for the rest of my month it's never going to work okay because i need to lock or reference everything to my total sales over here so if i come down here and i drag this realize that nothing is working okay so we're going to use the absolute reference cell reference to make sure that we get percentage respective to this total so this percentage is going to be based on this total so let me just undo this control z and with a percentage i'm going to show you another way to handle this okay so let me undo everything and let's calculate the percentage again and apply the absolute cell reference okay so i'm going to say equal to then i select my cell once again and i'll go ahead and say divided by my total over here okay so this is what we are going to do now in order for us to choose the absolute cell reference we need to press the f we are going to press the F4 key. That's the function key on a keyboard. And it's going to add this dollar symbol to it. So we've actually applied the absolute cell reference to this. So when I hit enter, okay, when I hit enter, you can see what is happening. But I want to apply the percentage symbol because we are fine percentage. So within your home tab, just go to select the come to the num number group and click hit percentage. So you can see approximately I'm getting what 12%. So basically from my chart you could see that in january my soul out of my total that's my total so january is making 12 percent out of my total so because i've applied the absolute cell reference this time if i drag everything down here you could see that i'm able to get a percentage for the rest of my month okay i'm able to get my percentage for the rest of the month as expected so this is the best way in which you can use the absolute cell reference. So you can see that the total, if I decide to go with the total percentage from the from January to December, it's giving me what hundred percent over here. Remember, you need to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. So basically, this is how to use absolute cell reference in Excel. So let me just show you something that is happening initially. Initially, if you click over here, you realize that everything here has been locked to the total over here so we see that the total has been highlighted over here if i go to the next so everything has been locked to this so that's the absolute reference we are referencing everything to our total sales down here but initially if i don't use the absolute any time i want to find a percentage it will jump down to the empty cells down here so we are going to apply that again let's see what is going to happen i'm going to undo everything i've done so far and then let's look at what is going to happen in the previous calculation so what i'm going to do is that let me use the percentage without the absolute and see what exactly is going to happen so i'm going to come here click over here 
hit enter so when i go back to my percentage click on percentage and i try dragging this down it's never going to work so look at it when i double click on this see so because i've not referenced everything to my total the next cell is now jumping towards the cell below my next total if i go to the next one if i click on my next one it's be, it will be moving down that way so we try to use the absolute cell referencing to ref to, or to refer everything to our total cells over here and that is going to work perfect so let me go back to the reference like i said we are going to lock or reference everything to our total cell by hitting the f4 f4 key on a keyboard hit enter and go back and drag everything down again and it's going to work perfectly so remember to subscribe to this channel share this with share the video with friends and don't forget to hit the like button okay so this is the best way in which you can use the absolute cell reference to get your percentage in respect to or or to respect to your total sales for the entire year so this is the entire year we want to look at the percentage you have referencing the total sales for the particular year okay so in every year now we can easily calculate the percentage we have for that particular year okay so i'm going to end this video here remember to subscribe and share this video with friends like come your way another day stay safe this is agitech bye bye